Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Another Sunday, another disappointment. Cleveland Browns are garbage this year. I don't know if it's the coaching, if it's the play, calling, what it is. The offensive line looks like trash. Our defensive line, Miles had a couple sacks, but the Raiders ran for over 150 yards on him, and they came in as the worst rushing team in the league. That's two weeks in a row. I don't know what to say about the Browns. They definitely look like they'll be picking the top ten the way they're playing. Their schedule doesn't get any easier. Not really sure what they're going to look at in the draft, but I'd look at a lot of new things, including players, coaches, coordinators, and you can't really do nothing with Stefanski and Barry because they just got extensions. But the offense is sputtering. The players are getting injured too often. I think it's a lot of not playing in the preseason to get ready. Jim Schwartz is supposed to have a great defense, but two weeks in a row, two bottom-feeding teams like the Browns have embarrassed them. So I don't know. What do you think? Go Browns. As always, appreciate all of the voicemails. Spencer, when you are starting one in three like and look like the Browns have, I think everything's on the table. Everything is on the table. Because there, if there was a simple fix, you would assume it would be fixed. Yeah, and, and it's crazy because, I mean, maybe not crazy because I guess we are used to the Browns sometimes getting into these spots. I just don't know that we expected it this season. And I don't know that we expected it to be this early that we're already sort of tongue-in-cheek joking about, well, the draft's only 200 days away. Like, that's 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 something that's usually reserved for, like, November or December, given some of those previous, you know, the, just the dilapidating years of, of being a Browns fan. Um, but, yeah, like – it's I, I agree with you that everything's on the table. Like at this point, you got to look in the mirror and figure out what some of the issues are. And if 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 that means trade deadline time, you got to make some moves. You got to try to trade some people and trim some of the 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 excess that that isn't performing for you. I think you have to consider it. Um, I don't know how far that extends. Like if if this season keeps, continues going this direction, I don't know what things look like this off season in terms of conversations about Deshaun Watson and what his future looks like. It, it's not really an easy contract to get out of, as we know. I don't know if they would choose between him and Stefanski. Stefanski just got his contract extension this this offseason, sort of committing to him as as the, the face of this whole thing moving forward. But would they really pull the, the, the plug on something like that because the expectations were so high this year? Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I do feel for Browns fans that you're four games in. And, it, you know, it's, it's funny because, like, I don't know that a win over the Raiders would have – get made fans trust the organization fully again in terms of you know they can they can beat anybody but I, it would have at least steadied the ship for a week where then you feel better about the way things are going to two and two and it's 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 funny how this league works man like one week decides so much in terms of how we view each and every single team you know the ravens were zero and two a couple weeks ago then they blow out the bills and now we think they're the best team in the nfl now again um like we did at the beginning of the season with the with the browns it's the opposite you lose to a team like the raiders and we're questioning if you're the worst team in football. Um, so only they can can co- sort of change the trajectory that they're on. But if it continues going the way it's going, yeah, like there's going to be some tough decisions to be made, even within this season, about guys on this team and, you know, what where it all fits. Because this, this was always about this year kind of being the year to really realize your full potential. And really the last two years, but this year was kind of part of that. And now you got an aging roster. Um, you know, you're paying a lot of guys and, and next off season, it's not going to be so clear cut as just retaining everybody. You're going to have to, to make some tough decisions.